What's going on with all my money motivated stars? Now, this is going to be a quick little video about the Castanet situation. If y'all don't know who it is, that's a YouTuber I reported on a couple uh, weeks ago. And I'm going to tell y'all what this video is about, just slightly. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to get into the new situation. Like, he a pop or famous YouTuber, you know what I mean? He, he, more, he more famous than a lot of rappers, you know what I mean? I don't watch his content, but... Sometimes his content come down my slide in, in a, a form of shorts and I click on them. Dude, very entertaining. He, that's what I'm saying. He's so entertaining that he can grab an audience of people my age and have me laughing. You know what I mean? And have older people laughing. And also kids. You know what I mean? You got to be a special type of person to be able to do that. You know what I mean? I consider myself special because all YouTube show you what kind of demographic of uh people you got watching you and i got all ages watching me you know what i mean but my i think my biggest audience is like from 20 uh 25 up until 40 you know what i mean but that's besides the point so he he able to reach then a lot of people but 95 percent of his uh like 90 percent of his fan base is kids you know what i mean so he, he getting like he getting a lot of backlash because on his channel he do a lot of games he play I'm trying to put his channel in an example of a show, you know what I mean? I'm okay, perfect. See, my brain works so efficiently, I just, the ideas just pop up. I'm going to put his show in the in the example of Nickelodeon show, a Nickelodeon show, all that. Y'all remember when all that, they did like improvs on different, different scenarios, like we had the Welcome to the Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. You know, we had the amount, my, we had the, you know what I'm saying, the amount. They had like different scenes set up. So, this kind of like what his his uh casting that show is like the the modern day all that show, but it's just him, and he he work with a couple other YouTubers, but it's it's primarily him. He bring other YouTubers to his platform. You know what I mean? So, in in this certain scene set. You know what I mean? That he's getting a lot of backlash for. It's all them dressed up like they in prison. You know what I mean? Now, I haven't watched it. And I, and I don't want to watch it. I just don't want to watch it. You know what I mean? But when I seen it, it was coming up, I was like, man, he can do a, pre, a jail scene. You know what I mean? I'm like, that's kind, that's kind of wild. Given that he got like 90% of kids watching this stuff. You know, I feel like they shouldn't be tuned into that. But, you know, kids going to watch what they want to watch. You know? But I understand from both sides. I understand that people was like this, this saying, y'all ain't bashing no rappers who talk about murder all day. You know what I mean? Y'all ain't doing this, but y'all going there casting that. Because, like I said, he got like a cult fan base. You know what I mean? And I, I, I agree with what they saying. You know what I mean? It's a lot of people who do pick and choose. You know what I mean? Like, what's the scenario that's going on? But thank, thank goodness I ain't one of them people. You know what I'm saying? Because can't nobody come to me and say that. They can't say, well, where your uh Energy towards the rappers. I, I keep the energy on my channel. Just go watch. Just go through my channel. I always see it. You know what I'm saying? Cause you, know what I'm saying? you can't you can't come at me like that. Cause I always talk about the message that these rappers put out. I always talk about how these rappers not live their lyrics. And if you uh choose to still listen to them, make sure you have a, a developed enough brain to not want to go and act on it. And I always keep it 100 with y'all. Say, do I listen to the rap? Yeah, I listen to the rap, but. I don't go and do the stuff that I hear it because I know it's big cap. You know what I mean? And I don't listen to the murder, murder, killing song. You know what I mean? I listen to rappers who talk about murder, but I don't listen to their murder songs. I listen to their pain songs. You know what I mean? Like I see it, NBA Youngboy got a lot of good music, but he got a, he also got a lot of devilish shoot him up, bang, bang shit. I don't listen to those songs he make. You know what I mean? So when it comes down to it, I have the energy for all these rappers. So I'm going to have energy for the content creators too. But like I said, I'm still not going to be bashing them because I think they cast and that is like 22. He young, you know what I mean? But I do feel like he's becoming uh, an industry plant or whatever, you know what I mean? Because a lot of people look at an industry plant as somebody who was planted there to cause chaos, you know what I mean? I feel like a lot of these dudes aren't industry plants, but I feel like they're just using their creativity to come up out or whatever situation they in, and once they get to a certain level, they get approached, and then they become somebody that the industry is looking at and gives ideas to. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like they 
between the lines of poor and rich, they get like compromisation. A lot of compromisation goes on because they gonna approach you like you getting successful and like, okay, you got a big influence now. We either gonna shut this down or you gonna work. It's like, basically, these folks like the mob, get down or lay down, you know what I mean? The people who they know ain't gonna get down, they gonna either delete their channel or they gonna either come to them, you know what I'm saying, I'll give you an offer, and if you don't take that offer, it's off with your head, you know what I'm saying? So I believe he's being approached because a lot of stuff that I, I've seen on the internet is just like, it's like a lot of switching up when it comes to, I'm like, okay, did he actually think of that? You know what I mean? Or did they, like, it, you got to just put two and two together, you know? But I understand why he getting the backlash, and I understand why his, his uh, fans support him, you know what I mean? Because a lot of people just going to support you regardless, you know? Because he reacted to a Gl Glorilla song. This is how I know he had a cult fan base. He reacted to to a Glorilla song. He was like, he ain't bash on the song. He just like, he ain't like the song. He like, nah, this ain't it. You know what I mean? Cause I ain't really like the song that the um uh, that the typical the type of song that he said the one the one the one he reacted on. I ain't like that song. I like a couple of her songs, but I didn't I ain't like that one. And I guess she ended up blocking him off that. Man, when I tell you, man, that man fans was all in her pictures and posts saying, "Why you blocking? I'm blocking." <laughs> It was like you ain't see nobody really caption it, uh, talking about what she posted. It was all his fans in her, and I'm pretty sure they in her inbox, all on her comment section saying, "Don't unblock him." <laughs> they was talking so much cash. I was like, "Damn, that man got to go ride for him." You know what I'm saying? They ride to the wheels. <laughs> but like I said, man, I don't think it was a good. It wasn't a good move. You know what I'm saying on his behalf because. Kids don't need to see that, man. Like, a lot of kids, you know, like I said, a lot of kids gravitate towards his content. That's what his majority, his content is based off, like, children are watching him. Not saying he made his content strictly for kids, but that what came to him like a magnet. And because he's so goofy, children like that aliveness in people. You know what I mean? That energeticness, you know what I'm saying? I like that. That's why I like his personality. I still ain't going to talk down on him. You know, I don't know what he did behind closed doors. And here, I don't give a fuck about talking about it right now. You know what I'm saying? But it, it reminds me of a, a restaurant I seen floating around on Instagram. And it was like, would you eat here? And it was like a prison restaurant. I was like, why are black people so fascinated with prison? You know what I mean? And then somebody had a complaint like, oh, I would have understood if he had people on there who actually went to prison. You know what I'm saying? This is like... That's not something I want to. I would want to joke around with. It's people in prison right now, like you know what I'm saying. Even if they do see that skit or they don't see that, it's people in prison right now serving time for real, for real. You know what I'm saying for stuff they did not do. You know what I mean. So a lot of people don't take in consideration what they really what they're doing. You know what I'm saying. But I still don't be judgmental because it's a lot of stuff. Like I see it. I I got children watching me probably like 13 14 year olds you know what i mean but i still choose to cuss so can i can i clean up my way of talking yes i can but i still choose to do that you know what i mean so i can be judged the same way you know what i'm saying but like i said it's just all about opinion everybody got one you know what i mean like they say everybody it's opinion like an ass like an asshole everybody got one you know what i mean so i'm just giving out my opinion on the situation like i feel the people who mad that he getting the backlash and I fear the people who, you know what I'm saying, giving him the backlash because like, it's too many scenarios in this world for you to create then create a low vibrational one such as a prison where people are not really living their best lives yet, you know what I mean? Because he's a cool dude so if, you, if your fan base is looking at you as a cool dude a lot of these children are doing what he's doing Believe it or not, I didn't see him on the inst on Instagram. They tagging him and what they doing. It's like TikTok. Once you get popular on TikTok, do a dance. Everybody's doing it because it's popular. You know what I mean? So it's a lot of dudes who want to experience jail. They probably think jail is fun just by watching it. Because like I said, they're young minded. A, an adult is not gonna think that like me. You know what I mean? Y'all not gonna think that, but a child watching it is twelve year old, twelve years old. They probably going to be bad. I want to go to prison. I want to go to juvenile. I seen my favorite YouTuber acting like he was in prison. It looked fun. You know what I mean? You don't You don't know. You know what I mean? This is like when we was young. Like I told y'all 
previous videos, me and my brother and cousin, we would practice wrestling moves on each other. We And we end up hurting our little cousin, you know what I mean? Because yeah, when you young, you don't look at this stuff as dangerous. You look at, I want to be like this wrestler. We all had our favorite favorite rapper, rappers. We all had, had our favorite wrestlers. See, you ever had your goddamn favorite rug rat, your favorite Teletubby. You know what I mean? That you, like, you know what I'm saying? You did stuff that you saw on the internet. You know what I mean? Well, on television. The internet now is new television. That's what I'm saying. So you're going to do stuff as a young child that doesn't make sense. But you're doing it because you're, you know what I'm saying, watching it. It's what human beings are. We are visual watchers. Some of us, a lot of us are visual learners. You know what I mean? This, 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 this what we was before even books came to play. We watch the elders do what we are not doing. You know what I mean? A lot of people won't be rapping right now if they never heard of a rapper or they never rap. You know what I'm saying? All this stuff is like a domino effect. So it does play a part in what content you putting out and what content people choose to watch. You know. Like it just come down to the supervision of your kids, you know. But like I see a lot, a lot of adults working, man. They trying to hook. It's hard out here. There's so many factors to why people can't watch their kids twenty four seven. If they could, they would. You know what I mean? So just gotta keep that in mind, man. That's just it's my, it's my opinion. But man, y'all, if y'all like the uh, content, make sure y'all hit the like button. Make sure y'all hit the notification bell so y'all be notified every time I drop drop a video. Y'all be blessed on walking that smoke.